Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect. Today, as you can see, we're going to be getting ourselves upgraded in more ways than one. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, today we're going to be going after, that's right, the Chaos Chicken. We've been kind of sitting here doing some of the side things for a while, and we've, I've been putting off fighting that chicken. I think we're going to put this sword to test today, and we're going to see what we can do with this thing. So, I do need to grab my chicken stick. First of all, um, go ahead and, and I'll clear out just about everything. I do want my golden apples. We'll pull those out. Um, pretty much everything else we can get rid of. We don't really need anything else but golden apples. And those are our safety net just in case we run into any trouble. We should be able to eat those and hopefully not take as much damage. Um, but we do have everything we need. I may even get rid of my pickaxe. I don't know if we need that. We definitely don't need our axe. Um, so let's go and throw the axe in there. I think we should be fine with just these small amount of things. And then when it comes to what we have in here, I do want to keep my climbing gloves and everything else on me. Uh, the terminal, I probably don't even need that, but we'll leave it on us. It's not that big of a deal if we lose it. Uh, we do need a dragon egg. That is something we definitely need. And, uh, now we just pretty much need to go to the end and prepare ourselves because we have a big fight ahead of us. So we are here, ready for the epic battle of the Chaos Chicken. And I'm hoping that this arena that we have set up is going to be sufficient. So let's go ahead and spawn them in. Oh man, I gotta get back here. Because this, this is a little bit more dangerous than our previous encounter. And it will take a little bit longer. But I am super excited for this. There it goes, and to let the music begin. Oh boy. Yeah, we need to get out of the way. He's gonna go after the Enderman. And I think we can help him hatch out of here by hitting them. Oh no. That was an instant kill. Instant death. I don't uh, even know what just happened right there. We weren't ready. So he does have a, like a dialogue. He just said, I've been There's waiting no for you. For you people. I hope we can get in there fast enough. Your fate is in our hands. I need to hurry. To die. Yeah, that's what we got to be prepared for because we will. Oh boy. No, 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 don't fly. Yep, 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 okay. Yep, okay, so I don't think we're ready. So here's the thing. I think if we make our proper armor today, we will be perfectly fine for fighting this, this guy. The thing is, we need some armor. Oh boy, let me get out of here. Um, yeah, we're going to probably have to upgrade our stuff to the Draconic level armor, which won't take too long, and we should be able to totally do it. Um, so let's go ahead and get into that. That is going to take just a little bit of the time. I don't think it's going to be too bad for us. Um, let's go ahead and grab a transmutation table, and we should be good. So we're going to head into our power room. Bam. And in here, I have already set up this lovely fusion crafter. Um, all that good stuff here. Now, the only thing is, I hope everything can be pulled out. We do need to go check our other rooms, because I did lose all my equipment, so I don't actually have another, um... I don't have another, uh, wireless crafting monitor. So... Let's see, Wyvern? I don't think that was EMC-able. So let's pull out all of our Wyvern gear. And let's get ourselves prepared for what we're going to need. So to move into the Draconic gear, looks like we're going to need Awakened Draconium. An Awakened Core, which we need to make the Awakened Core with some Awakened Draconium and Wyvern cores. That's actually not too difficult. And another star. We can set up automation for this. So, Hopper. We'll use two Hoppers for this. 
We'll need a clock. Good old fashioned clock. And everything else we should be able to get, um, like the Awakened Draconium, Nether Stars, all of that should be here. Nether Stars, Core. Uh, we probably don't have our cores in here. We need to put wyvern cores in here. All these cores need to be made. We need to make sure that they're in our EMC table. Because that's what we're going to head into. So there's those. Those. And those. Okay. So yeah, making this armor should be a cakewalk. At least with these, uh, this being in our EMC table. So I'm going to head over here. And we're going to get this all sorted out. And I have... My fusion injector there, my crafters are over here. This should technically work. Um, the only thing we need to do is probably set up a hopper up here to put our items in and figure out a way to put the hopper down here like that. And that should collect our items um, after they're done crafting. And then of course we need some sort of timer to automate and automate uh, or to automatically activate the process. So let's go ahead and get this done. Draconic. All right, so we need at least a one Waken core. So we only need one of these. So a Wyvern core. We need one, two, three, four. So five Awakened Draconium and four Wyvern cores. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And that should work. Three, four, five. Wyvern core. And another one over here. And all we got to do is put another star in here. And that should technically work. This should be far enough away. Ah, this may be an issue. No, that shouldn't be an issue. Because that's been like that before. Hmm. Doesn't really tell us what our issue is. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's check again. Wyvern cores. Isn't that what we used? Yes. And last but not least, five awakened draconium. Huh. That should technically work. So it actually was the controller setting there for some reason. It doesn't really matter. I guess we don't need to fully automate it, to be honest. Because, I mean, this is fast enough in itself. So, there we go. Let's go and get our acceleration wand. And we'll get this all sorted out. By the way, you guys mentioned last episode, this wasn't in the center. I knew. I fixed it shortly after I did my thumbnail, actually. And you guys also said that the uh, the this guy up top, my... Uh, not point. The uh, plug was not set to um, allow all the power to go into here. It, it def I unchecked it in the video. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are talking about. But I did uncheck it during the video. I remember that, that definitely. I um, mean, also a lot of people are kind of saying, you know, why don't you use Watch a Flowing Time and things like this? That's because I'm playing on a server. I'm playing on my own sub server. I mean, there's several other people on. Uh, it's late at night right now. I don't want to use things like that on here, mainly because it just causes lag and nobody wants to play with lag. That just, it's not fun. So that's why I am not doing that. All right. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at our gear. So we should be able to make this gear. This will definitely help us. Uh, we also need this thing. So Wyvern, that should be pretty easy to actually craft. I need to make a crap table because our wireless one is gone right now because we decided to go after that guy in the armor we were in. Not okay. It, yeah, that armor is not going to work. <laughs> oh man, that was an absolute slaughter fest. One shot it in that armor. So here we go. We have Draconic. Pretty much we're ready to go. We need Awakened, Awakened Core, and yeah, that. So we should be able to slap these in here. One here, 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 and here. Throw our gear in. 
and start, and that's going to do exactly what we want it to do. We want it to craft into that. So there we go. And I'm gonna do that to each armor piece. So I figured since I already had my armor being upgraded, might as well upgrade my tools. Um, since it takes the exact same process to do the exact same setup, the only thing I'm gonna be doing now is make the Staff of Power, which uh, just requires your shovel, sword, and a p the pickaxe. So pick that pickaxe goes in there. Uh, the shovel needs to be one of the products here. Throw it in there. And of course, a sword. Throw the sword over here. And I think last but not least, we need an Awakened Core. We should be good to go. We should be able to throw this in here. And last but not least, make the big Draconic Staff of Power, which is an incredibly powerful tool slash weapon um, that can be upgraded. Also went ahead and made myself a capacitor. Um, I'm gonna see if I need to upgrade this stuff. I don't know if I need to upgrade it any at all to fight uh, this guy. We're gonna go see. I mean, we do have this capacitor that is being charged. We do have um, pretty much infinite charging power in general that will always keep things charged. So I don't actually know if we're gonna need that or not. Um, we definitely need another chicken stick though, but I think we can go in there and get our stuff back, hopefully. And we can go try that out literally in just a second. Like it shouldn't take us too long at all. So staff of power, bow, we need to configure some of this stuff up first. All of this stuff actually can be EMC'd, wow. We might want to do that, just in case we lose it again, then we can just pull it out. Can this as well? Yeah. Nice. All this stuff can be saved. So, I mean, if we die again, of course, we can go get our stuff back. Perfect. And we also get flight, so that's another great perk. So we can keep that in our inventory. Um, I think you, you shift right click on this three times, it'll activate everything in your inventory, and we'll keep everything charged, so. That is a really good thing. All right, let's go try this bad bad boy again. Um, he's gonna be pretty tough. Uh, might need some apples just to be on the safe side. Like I said, we can try some of this. I mean, our armor by default is not that great, but we do have a big shield, kind of. Um, <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes. I'm kind of curious. Oh boy. Because we could end up dead again. Hmm, I don't want that to happen. At least we get flight, and that's a good thing. Oh boy. Oh, let's configure our stuff, by the way. So, our armor and stuff is fine. I need to configure this. Attack radius. Oh, you know what? We can't do anything without a chicken stick. Oh, yeah, sorry. We're going to go get it. So, yeah, he's going to be trying to, to get to us. Let's change our bow to arrow velocity, max auto fire, arrow draconic fire. On. Arrow base damage, three, shock wave. I don't think we need that. I think everything else should be fine. I don't want to turn anything else on because it may not even affect them. Let's get in here. Let's just break our grave. Like I said, we gotta be careful. And let's go find our grave, which I think is the one over here. which should have all of our stuff in it. Yes. Okay, so the main thing we need out of this is our chicken stick, which I don't actually see. Uh, that's not good. Did we not bring our chicken stick? Oh boy. I think we're in for it. Like, if, if I don't have it, is it not in here? No. Where in the world would my chicken stick have gone? All right, I guess we're gonna have, have to go back to the base and grab one. Oh boy. So we're getting ourselves back in this fight now. We are ready to go this time for real. Should not have any issues. Except for the, the minor lag, maybe, that we might <laughs> encounter. Oh boy. We need to get to them. Ow. Make sure we're not flying. Okay. And can our will our arrows work? Doesn't look like the arrows work. Oh boy, he's got a lot of health. 
a lot of health. I'm hoping this draconic armor lasts. Our entropy level is pretty low. We may need to move out of the way. I'm gonna let our shield sort of regain <laughs> here soon. But yeah, this is gonna be a battle, man. A battle in itself. Um, Alright. I wonder, can we, if we up the everything on our bow, will that help us any? Let's find out. Velocity, explosion power, let's up this all the way. Shockwave, all the way. Hopefully we have enough power. Oh, we don't. So we can't really do that. Explosive is not possible with air, arrow, okay. So we just need to remove the explosions. That's all we need to do. Insufficient power to fire. It's mainly because we don't have upgrades, which totally makes sense. Shockwave. Ow. So yeah, that kind of hurt us a little bit. Let's just let's just get his shield gone. Oof. Oof. Let my shields regen. We're we'll be pushing the danger soon. Okay, so arrows are working. They're just not. Not that fast. Ow. It's one of those, like, super explosions that he done. sort of stand underneath him. Get on the ground. As soon as you hear that laser fire up, you want to get on the ground. You don't want to be flying. This guy is something else. Look at these eggs just after me. Go. Ouch. Ouch. You see that took me down to a single heart. With the draconic armor, it will take you down to a single heart, but it'll start taking power in order to fix that. Like, I need to let my shields recharge. Basically. So I might need to take a break for a second, let my shields recharge. Yeah, that's gonna take that's gonna take a beating. He's going right for me too. He has given me no time to let my shields recharge. Let's run. Get out of his way. We're doing very little chip damage to him. Like, what little damage we're doing. Ow. Oh man, that is rough. We need to just get in there and fight.
You just get in there. Let her energy do its bidding. There we go. I think it's taken explosion damage from itself. Yeah, okay, I think we can handle this. One more. And... Whoa. What is this craziness? Okay. That was pretty much it. Did we get everything we needed? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> took a little, it took a second, but we ended up getting our chaos shards. Yes. Oh man. Nice. So we ended up completing that. We don't have to fight them again. I hope. We should not have to worry about it again. <laughs> so now let's find our hole back home. It's uh, pretty destroyed now. But that was the uh, that was the chaos fight. I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to take off some of the bobbles. bobbles. Let's take that off. Okay, so we end up getting pretty much everything back, I think. I, I just, I can't believe our chicken stick got disappeared. I don't know where our chicken stick decided to go. But it was not to where I wanted it to be. Which made it kind of weird. So I can confirm that going after the dragon in full draconic armor, or dragon chicken, in full draconic armor will work, and you don't even need to upgrade it. So you should be good. Um... Basically, by the way, I wanted to talk about this. So I have uh, neutronium that is being produced. I have neutronium uh, collectors that are all running along the floor here. And uh, I just recently put them down. They haven't been down for very long. And I have um, item ducts running all the way through the bottom. And then it's just basically being pulled into here with a retriever. Right here. You can see there's a, uh, a reinforced retriever. Basically because I haven't upgraded anything to get resin ender or anything like that. We need this for the compactors. And we need at least 25 to make our first compactor. I think overnight these will definitely generate more. But we will need more for the compactor. Um, and yeah, this is kind of... Yeah, I don't know if this is causing lag. Something's causing like FPS lag right there. Just temporarily. It's probably the rainbow generator, to be honest. Um, but yeah, our EMC is looking good. I think what I, my plan is is to take our EMC, which I'm working on fluid cows as well, is to take the chest here and use this chest to convert things over. Um, right now it's, you know, it's got, you know, some octuple compressed stuff in here, but what I want to do is have the emeralds being pumped into here be converted into the materials that we need for the compressor, and then just have those items pushed into the compressor, making singularities, which is exactly what I'm wanting. And I think that would be perfect. Boy, that is a really, really dark night, and there is no stars. Ah, that's weird. Very weird. Um, but yeah, over here on the fluid cow side, I haven't really gotten too much done. Um, I ended up getting some liquid coal, some molten clay. I've just been doing this on, on the side. Um, I haven't really started working on it too much, so yeah. That is a thing. But anyways, I just have to wait a little bit longer, and I think we'll be able to make our first compactor. So while we wait, I guess we can go ahead and open up some of the rewards that have been piling up over the last few episodes. I wanted to kind of save them. We have 33 quests here, and we should be able to complete all of these by clicking the claim reward button. Let's do this. Oh boy. Um, I still don't see anything that great, to be honest. Um, yep, we didn't really get anything that good. That good. <laughs> I've had the worst luck, by the way, on this. Like, the worst luck. I don't know what it is, but I have I have yet to receive, like, anything that is, you know, that any any helpful thing. Like, the 64Ks would have been nice, like, a long time ago. None of this stuff is great. I've already made most of this. Like, a generator from... Yeah, that's not even worth it. Chance cubes, none of that. Wow. Entity detector. Huh. I mean, that was, yeah, that was 33 of those all in one go. It's just, yeah, it's not been that lucky. Um, for some reason, this did not go. Obtain a chaos shard. Obtain a chaos shard by killing the chaos chicken. It's not completed for some reason. Even if I have a bunch of them in my inventory. 
like it's not completing that quest, so I'm assuming that quest there's something wrong with it. Um, we should be able to make the chaotic core once we get further in, like making the actual um, injector. But yeah, if you look here, we should be able to make now the core and we should be good. This has EMC as well. So when making the chaotic core, it should be as easy as one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> that one already had one in there, so we don't have to worry about it. And yeah, we should just be able to place one of these in here and start, and that's gonna craft up a chaotic core. And boy, oh boy, are we about to have something special. Uh, we are very, very close to getting the chaotic fusion crafter. Uh, it takes nothing at all to make this. Um, and that's what we're going to pretty much get. We only need two, I think, to get anywhere, right? Um, yeah, I don't, I mean, I guess I, we could go ahead and once we make one, we could craft all of it. There we go. There's the one. Chaotic core. Perfect. Store that. And what we need is one of these. Of course, we can pull out everything from these. What do we need? Diamond. Uh, we need a dragon egg. Diamond. Which is kind of funny that we need diamond at this point. And that's really it. And one of these bad boys. So yeah, pretty simple. Like these, as you can see, they're not actually emceeable, but we can make a bunch of them. Let's see, Draconic. We can make however many we need. I'm gonna make enough for each wall to be it. So one, two, that's six, 12. So we need 12 of these, which means we're gonna need 12 of each thing, including the Chaotic Core. Twelve of those, twelve dragon eggs. And we're gonna need enough diamond for all of this. Which I think we should totally have. We should totally have enough of. There's twelve. We can even throw this one back on the wall. Because honestly, it doesn't really matter. All these are about to be fully upgraded. Alright. So, to get this, we need diamonds to be split to the four. That's 16. That is enough. That will work. And literally all we have to do is just sit back and wait. And this thing will complete for us. Gotta love it. Let's go ahead and throw this in here. And I guess start. It's doing 12, but we should be able to... It should automatically pull out the other one. Um, what I might do is just replace this on top. And we'll get that timer. Or clock. We should be able to put that on top, not on the side. And that should continue working. So as soon as that one finishes, Hopper pulls it out starts the other one. Awesome. So that's set up and we're good to go. So while those are crafting up above, I think we now have enough neutronium that we should be able to at this point make a neutronium compressor. I hope we need one block. So we need to craft the uh, neutronium into a block. Save those. And last but not least, we should be able to craft this. Right here. Oh boy. But these do not these do not have EMC values, unfortunately. So um, we're gonna have to, you know, just kind of wait for these to produce more, and then we can make more of these neutronium um, compressors. But for right now, I think it'll be best if we use item transfer nodes um, to basically pipe out the items that we're gonna need. And I guess we can start off with iron. Singularities. And I think that'll work just fine. And we're probably going to need our speed, 
or our stack upgrades for this to work. So let's get a stack upgrade. And we'll head on over to here. Uh, this side, right here. And on one of these sides, we're going to kind of change the way this is working. Uh, let's go ahead and get a hammer. What we're going to do is remove this side down here. Make it make sure it attaches back up here. And then we're going to change the way this works. Uh, for right now, I want this to make iron blocks now. And so this is just going to continue to produce iron blocks at an okay pace. The other one is a bit faster, but really it's going to be limited by our transfer node. And we are going to need pipe, which I don't know if we have any. Let's grab some of that. There we go. Now, the interesting part about this neutronium compressor is it actually needs to be connected to the top. So if you break this here and we place it here, this may try to connect to it, but items won't actually go into it from the side. So I can remove that from there anyways. Place down the transfer node and we'll place this upgrade in it. So I'll do stacks. And that should start collecting blocks. And it looks like this is going to probably maintain that, hopefully. And of course, over time, it's going to uh, it's going to just keep building up until it reaches this number, and then we'll get a singularity output. Um, the reason why I want more of these, of course, is as you can probably tell, we're going to have to make a few of these singularities in order to get infinity ingots. And yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time, but like I said, I'm going to make more neutronium compressors as soon as I get more neutronium, and we should be ready to rock and roll, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to share this with your friends if you guys haven't already. Stoneblock is an amazing pack, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the ride so far. Um, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciated that, and I will see you guys in the next episode. As always, guys, thanks for watching.